myself one week to learn how to rollerblade. Specifically, aggressive rollerblading. I don't want to be just cruising around having a jolly good time. I want to be shredding. So I've given myself three main objectives. Number one, drop in on a ramp. Number two, try and actually pump the ramp and kind of ride on it. And number three, jump down a stair set. Hours researching what rollerblade to get. Here your car. Shock absorbing heel really mechanism hard. making and ended up just buying the one I like the look of. Yikes. Let's do it. One week starts now. Let's get it. Day one. So I arrived at the skate park and unloaded my very fresh white rollerblades. Ready to start launching off some ramps. I'm actually not gonna go to the skate park. I'm gonna go to the concrete. Skate park will save for another day. And straight away it was well. A little bit harder than I thought. I literally thought I'll be flying, I'll be doing staircases. I probably should have watched some tutorials before just doing this. We'll figure it. Christ, I need a break, man. Oh, I did like half an hour. I've discovered muscles in my feet that I didn't know I had. But uh, it was, it was fun. I mean, kind of. Day one complete. So after a pretty unsuccessful first day, I decided to do the smart thing I should have done before and watch some YouTube tutorials. Day two. Now I'm loaded up with knowledge. This should be so easy. What I was doing wrong last time was I was kind of just pushing with both feet, like I, like I was swimming or something. But what I need to be doing is keeping one foot straight and pushing with the other. So hopefully today's productive and seductive. I want to play some classical piano. I love classical piano. No word of a lie. A bit of jazz. Classical piano, jazz piano. Oh. I figured out how to break. Basically, I, I, you sort of drag your toe in rather than your heel. Oh, I'm getting the break. I'm actually really enjoying this today. <laughs> like to be honest, the first day when I did it, it just felt so alien. And you start cruising and you don't feel as scared to break. You know that you can just put the side of your foot down. It's chilling, it's fun. <laughs> well, hello there. <laughs> day two complete. Today's video is brought to you by Pure VPN. If you've been considering beefing up your internet privacy, Pure VPN is a great VPN provider who are currently having an early Black Friday deal. You'll get 81% off your two year plan for just $2.04 a month. With over 3 million users and 6,500 plus servers, Pure VPN covers all of your needs, ranging from becoming anonymous, surfing safely whilst traveling, playing games, to securing all of your personal data. On top of security, Pure VPN can get you access to tons of location restricted content on streaming services like Netflix, Amazon Prime, BBC iPlayer, you name it. So be sure to experience all new Pure VPN, all new and easy to use apps, and much improved performance by checking the link in the description. Or the top comment and using my code Jimmy the Giant before the offer ends on the 19th of November. Anyway, back to the video. We have officially entered a skate park. I learned to rollerblade yesterday, so I'm pretty much pro at this point. The sponsorships are gonna be flying in after this video, I know. One of the things I have thought about is hurting myself. I've never been someone who's like that worried about injury, but as I've got older and I've seen how injuries have affected my passion for sports that I've been into in the past. I've had it with parkour where I've had to take two years out because bad knees, bad ankles. As I get a little bit older, you just kind of get sick of injuring yourself all the time. First little boo boo, probably going to be on scarred with that. Challenge number two is the booby. And it's a weird one because you equally, if you don't take risks and you don't do these kind of things, there's a good chance you can let life slip away from you and it can be very boring. Yeah, mate. So the answer isn't don't do anything risky. I think it's more just you know, listening to your body and don't push too hard beyond what is realistic for you in that moment. It's a tricky one. And if you're young listening to this, I know you're not going to listen to a word I say. I wouldn't have. But it is something to think about.
aggression has happened. I haven't hurt myself yet. That is day three complete. So the trick to running ramps is using a technique I would call pumping. Call me big pumper, mate. I love a pump. It's like a Monday, so it should be quiet. It's way busier today, and it's definitely harder when there's loads of people here. I did notice that people at the skate park were incredibly friendly. Such a contrast to what I hear about skateboarders and rollerbladers in the past. Everyone there was super nice to me, and I kind of made a lot of friends in the last week. Oh, new friend! Friends! Oh. Tilbury got in my way, and it taught me a new trick. Well, like, basically, I had to swerve out the way, and I went up a ramp, and I kind of figured it out. If you can dodge a Tilbury, you can get up a ramp. I was starting to notice I was rollerblading way more confident. Like, just moving around on them didn't feel as weird anymore. I was starting to get some speed, and I was actually just feeling like I was getting it. Basically, it feels like 20 minutes, and I start feeling comfortable with it. First 20 minutes, I feel as bad as when I first started it. Day four complete. Basically, it's midnight. I really want to go wrong, blue. The main thing I was really starting to like with rollerblading was just how like flowy and smooth it feels. Having a parkour background, it's very much just athletic power moves. But with this, I'm kind of like gliding, and yeah, it, it just felt awesome. It turned the lights off. It must have seen me. It's a windy one again. I kid you not, I actually got some air. The first time I did it off camera, every time since I've fallen over. It's all in the body weight. I need to be a bit more upright. It's tricky. That felt calm. So I wanted to tackle my first main challenge that I set out in the beginning of pumping a ramp. And well, yeah, it didn't go too well. Actually exhausting, man. I don't know how people do this. Hello. <laughs> it's day six. I'm at my girlfriend's today and I spotted a skate park when I was driving here. I'm hoping that I'm gonna drop in on a ramp. Can't lie, it's not. It's an alright park, it's not amazing. So gearing up to drop in was pretty nerve-wracking. The park was soaking wet, so I couldn't really warm up very well. And as I stood on the coping, it was it was pretty nerve-wracking. I, I kept feeling like I was gonna fall off. But all that side, I, I went for it. The actual dropping in wasn't that bad. It was mainly trying to deal with the aftermath. I was driving home and I found another skate park that I'd forgotten about. Let's get as much in as we can today. Because, I mean, it's day six. I want to make sure I get enough skating in before tomorrow being the final day of this challenge. Jesus Christ. With just one day left, my rollerblading was feeling far more confident than day one. However, I still had this list of challenges I needed to complete tomorrow. Ow. Day six, done. We're back at the Dunstable Skate Park. Of all the places I've been, this is my favorite. There's a few things I want to try and get today. I want to drop in. So I did it yesterday, but I think I did it on like a really baby ramp. So I want to try on a bigger ramp. As well, I'd like to pump the ramp. That's one thing I've really not understood of everything. Pumping the ramp, just it makes no sense to me. There was one more thing on this list I wanted to do, and that was to jump down the stair set. This was a complete unknown to me. I didn't know what was going to happen. If I landed, would I slide out? Would I mess up my ankle? I had no idea. It wasn't really similar to the other things I'd done. So I spent some time just warming up and getting comfortable again. Riding down some ramps, doing some little jumps. Jumping up to this little platform thing and, you know, just getting warmed up. So 
So I want to try the stairs, so it's four stairs, it's not massive. I've never done anything like it and like I kind of think when I land, I'm gonna slide everywhere. That's the only real worry. As I looked at this jump, I couldn't help but think if this was me not on rollerblades and doing parkour, this would be incredibly easy to jump. Oh, fuck. And so with that in mind, I just, well, I went for it. That wasn't even that hard at all. I actually rolled away from it as well. Happy that I'd now reached the first milestone of my challenge, I then geared up to drop in on a proper ramp. Second challenge complete, and it wasn't that bad. But then I realized the third challenge I hadn't completed. I hadn't really felt comfortable with pumping a ramp. Despite maybe looking the easiest thing, this to me had become the hardest challenge on this list. So I dropped into the bowl to give it a go. And as I was giving it a go, I just never felt it. It, it didn't click, you know? The, the other things I'd done, it made sense, and I, I felt successful in it. But the pumping is gonna have to be something I get another day. <laughs> Honestly enjoyed rollerblading so much more than I thought I was going to. If you want to see me do more challenge videos like this, comment something below that you'd like me to try out. I'm Twitch streaming Riders Republic every Monday, so go check that out. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Support me on Patreon or using the sponsor link below. Peace.